All right, here we're going to look at the circumstance where we're calculating the probability of x being between some number a and b. Okay, so in question 10 here we have a few examples. The hardest part about it is understanding exactly what this question is trying to ask you and then translating that into how we're going to use it in the BCD function. So we have a fair coin tossed 200 times. Okay, so our n equals 200 straight away. What is the probability that between two, between 90 and 110 heads turn up? Okay, so it's asking us for the case where we could have between 90 and 110. So it doesn't include 90 and it doesn't include 110, but we could have 91, 92, 93, all the way up to 109, okay? But not including 90 and not including 110, okay? So it's asking us then for the probability of 90 being less than x, where x is the number of successes or the number of heads, which is less than 110, okay? Notice it's just less than, not less than or equal to. So how are we going to calculate this? Okay, now remember the BCD function is a, calcul is a calculation of x being, the probability of x being less than or equal to some number k. Okay, so we can it includes this number k. Alright, so the first thing we want to calculate is the probability of x being less than or equal to 109 because we do not include the number 110. Okay, and then we are going to take away the probability of x being less than or equal to oops, less than or equal to 90 okay we're not putting we're putting 109 here okay because we want the circumstance where it includes 109 we're not putting 91 here rather we're putting 90 because we want the circumstance where it includes 91, okay? This doesn't include 91, but it does include 90. Okay, we're asked to find the probability of it being 91 times, 92 times, 93, all the way to 109. So let's calculate these individual probabilities. All right, we're using our BCD function, uh, let's make sure it's variable. So our, number, our first number of successes is 109 out of 200 trials and it's a fair coin which means it has a probability of 0.5 of being a success or a failure so it's fair okay so that one is 0 0.9105 and we're taking away probability of x being less than or equal to 90 okay this number here is our uh, our the probability of x being less than or equal to some number so we're putting in 90 there and we get 0 0.9 8, 0.0895, we'll round that one up, okay, and then we just subtract it, them away from one another, 0 0.9105, take away 0 0.0895, this equals 0 0.821, okay, alright, let's look at the last example then, D, okay? So we have at least 99 heads, but less than 110. So this includes the circumstance where we have 99, 100, uh, 101, but it says less than 110, okay? Which means, okay, 109 is okay. So on our calculator then, we're calculating the probability of x uh, 
of 99, we're including 99, being less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 109. All right, so how are we going to calculate that? Again, the probability of x being less than 109. Take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 98. Okay, because we are we want the circumstance when x equals 99. Okay, so you just calculate those individually. So our for the first one, we've got 100, we're talking about 109 successes out of 200, still has a probability of 0 0.5, so we get 0 0.9105, and we're taking away the probability of x being less than or equal to 98, and we get 0 0.4160, 0. okay, and then you just perform that operation. 0 0.9105, take away 0 0.4160, is 0 0.4945 okay so the hardest part about these ones then is just understanding what values is it asking me to include okay but it's as simple as performing the operation of the probability of the larger success occurring take away the probability of the lower number of successes occurring